The soldiers have been deployed to come and find people, which they have been doing already. Some of the advanced detachments have gone ahead, but also they're now having to clear the roads, which is very difficult. I mean, you can't get trucks past here at all, but they're, uh, they need to try and get vans and their, armored equipment, their, their army equipment further up. There are survivors that many thought wouldn't be found here. And these villages, I mean, they were really hit hard. Look at that across there. Four people survived in that town. As you can see, it's on the top of the hill. The monastery is at the back. That's collapsed. And then everything else around it uh, is collapsed. As I said, only uh, four people escaped from there. Absolutely everyone else ha has died. The um, first rescue teams came in and assessed that, the, that no one would, would survive here. Now, um, there are scattered villages all over the, the area here that they're trying to get to. Some only helicopters are doing um, food drop and, and uh, drops to them. Um, but there's another one at the top there. Uh, the army have made their way up there. We'll be going there as well. But you can see this at a level of, uh, of destruction. And although there's been huge criticism um, of the government here for the, the, the lack of speed of the, of the response, the, the terrain shows how hard it is.